What's up, Feeder Country? Back out in the garage today. And if you like player snowmobiles, you're gonna like today's video. We're going over the differences between the P85 clutches over the years. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, I hope to earn your subscription today. Quick clarification before we start today's video. I am not a Polaris engineer, nor do I claim to be one. This is information I've gathered over the years of owning many Polaris snowmobiles, RMK specifically, and through information found on the internet. If you have more information to help out this video, please comment below. Let's let everyone know all they can. So to start out, there are five that I know of P85 clutches that have been used in the RMK snowmobile over the years. We're going to try to touch on each. The fifth latest one is off of 850, which I do not have right now, but we will cover that. The other four I have, I have three here in front and one on the machine. Let's go start with the first one. This is the first chassis the RMK was ever offered in. This is a wedge chassis. This happens to be a 1997 RMK in the XLT motor package, means the triple, but they came in twins as well. Notoriously, or most famously, the double purple-headed twin cylinder 700 that made the RMK so famous. But regardless of that, what we are focused on today is the clutches. So we pop them in this clutch. Now, this clutch, the main difference between it and the next one up, which came in the Gen 2, which was made between 99 and 2001, is the size of the roller right here. So we're gonna take our cheap Harbor Freight calibers. And I'm gonna show y'all 12.31 millimeters, more or less. So this is known as the small roller P85. Real quick, the spider is also different. This part right here, this is called the spider. You'll see here how it's flat and it's got us, it's just not quite the same as what we're gonna see in the next clutch. You can see from the date stamp on the top, it was made in late 99, so it was probably sold on a 2000 unit. Now, the big differences between this and the one we just looked at, like I'd mentioned before, are the size of this roller. You can see this roller, hopefully you can already see, this roller is much larger, wider, than the one we were looking at before. Once again, we're gonna take our cheap calipers 16.91 more or less and when we pop open the top here you'll see that this one came with a spring cup that was placed there and the spider assembly is built a little bit differently i can only speculate what they did here i don't know i wasn't riding sleds back then nor do I have copies of the brochures. Maybe some weight savings, maybe some structural integrity. I don't know. If you know, let me know. So Polaris ran with this style of clutch from 1999 until 2002. Uh, for the 2003 year, they came out with the Vertical Escape Edition RMK that was in the Edge chassis. And the Vertical Escape, one of their big selling points was lightweight components. That's right, even 10, 15 years ago, Polaris was doing lightweight stuff. So you can see from the date code on this clutch, it was built in 03, so it was probably sold on a 04 unit. Now visually, the two differences you can see right off the get-go are this clutch cover is adorned with the Polaris logo, the USA stamp, and this one does not. Once we get the clutch covers out of the way, you'll see the real differences between these two. This is smooth right here, and on this clutch, see the dimple? They've cut out some material there, probably in an effort to lighten up the clutch. A little less rotating mass. Now, these two clutches are interchangeable. You can put this clutch on an older machine like this. You can put this clutch on a newer machine like this. They're fine. You know, the taper diameters in here are the same, so they'll fit on this any crankshaft of that size. So Polaris ran with this lightweight clutch for a number of years from 2003 till 2008 when they came out with their new crankshaft and new piston design. So here we have a uh, clutch that you would find on any 800 RMK from 2008 until the modern day. This one happens to be a 2011 date stamp so it's probably sold in a 2012 rmk now covers look the same spiders look the same here you can see that dimples that we were talking about earlier on this one 
the big difference and why you cannot mix and match these two clutches are here. They change the size of the crankshaft diameter and I will show you right here, once again with our cheap calibers, make sure we're millimeters, zero that son of a gun out. Twenty-eight point. Let's just say, oh, we we're pushing a little hard there. Twenty-eight point three five more or less. And you come over here, and you'll see these are thirty point eight more or less. So these two clutches are not interchangeable. If you try to put this clutch on a two thousand eight or newer RMK. This will not seat all the way in like it should. You're gonna have some problems. Same with this clutch. You can now put this clutch on something older than a 2008. You are gonna have some problems. And just for a little bit of proof, for argument's sake, we've got a clutch here with a 2020 uh, date stamp on it. We're gonna flip her over, let her settle down, grab our old cheap calibers again, toss it in here. And there we go, folks. So currently I don't have 850 clutch here. My snow check is still being delivered, but what Polaris has done is for the 850 motor package, they've gave us a new crank again. It also has a new crankshaft diameter. So these 800 clutches will not work on your 850 and the 850 clutches will not work on the 800s. Yes, they are all called a P85, but the diameter on the inside here, like we talked about, is different, it won't work. Well guys, thanks for watching today's video. I hope you learned a little bit. I hope you can help save you guys from some trouble. If you know some information about the P85 that was left out of this video, please comment below. I would love for this video to become a very informational source for those who want to learn. Thanks guys. Oh, and if you made it this far, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because we're going to be doing more fun stuff.